the other thing we got, this was Luke's pick of the week, so it's a yeah. shame he's not... It's a shame um, I'm not here to shout at him. Mm, right, okay. Uh, Valley Cops is this show. It's, it was a BBC Three um, documentary set in um, Merthyr Tidville, in particular the Gurnos estate. I think that's well what they call the Gurnos. Yes, I think well remembered, yes, I didn't get that. Although written down here, that's why. Um, it follows, well, as the title would suggest, cops um, who work in the valley. Um, it is a very close-knit community. Um, a lot of people, again, it's not a sort of interesting companion piece in a way, because there's a lot of sort of drug-related crimes, people robbing to fund drug habits, people who've been in and out of the police station since they were teenagers. They had the custody um, sergeant who says he's had to um, arrest people in his own extended family before now, and he's basically become like a bellboy, you know, going around asking... I was going to say that the way that I didn't... uh, Okay, the number one thing I didn't like, they portrayed the custody (laughs) officer as basically like a waiter in a restaurant. Well, that's what he said himself, wasn't he? He said, I've basically become a bellboy. Okay, I didn't like that at all. But that's, I think that's what the whole thing was, is this is sort of like a regional office. This isn't like your 24 hours in police custody where there's these sort of serious crimes coming through. It's all like sort of petty robbery and... I suppose, I mean, the main crime wasn't petty. It was a, a post office robbery which hit close to my heart. Well, I was going to say, uh, I, I wondered how you'd take to this, you know. But, do you know what I mean? It's not like massive fraud cases no, there, and things like not, that. It's there, there, Comparing it to 24 hours in police custody is wrong because you're right. In, in yeah. That area, and I, I think you're thinking... Yeah, there's, yeah. There's lots of other things. Yeah, this was local you're crime. basing sort of custody. This is sort of lo- very, like, local police, local estate, and I think they operate a bit different. Local. You know, one of them goes in and says, could I have a tuna pasta bake or something like that when he comes in? Because he, the way they sort of shot it was for a sort of comic effect. Because Luke, I think, picked this because he thought it would be quite amusing. And there were elements of that, I think, in like the talking oh. heads and things. Yeah. But I think this wasn't as an amusing a sort of docu-soap as I was expecting. There were some quite hard-hitting things. I mean, there was the stuff about this, like, this father and son. Um, yeah, Liam, who was involved in the post office robbery, wasn't oh, he? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, he was sort of scouting yeah. it out. And that, for me, was the probably the in- more, more interesting story, was this sort of through line of how becoming dads, a lot of these guys go off like the life of crime. and become, And he had a pregnant girlfriend, didn't he? And she was like... You know, I'm hoping this now, you know, gets him off this track. But no, I I thought this was all right. It was a bit long, and and at times my attention did wear. But I didn't have a big issue with this. I don't think I'll watch it again. But you seem to have taken against this a little bit. I hated this in some areas. I see what you're saying about some of the storylines. And yes, the post office one was intriguing. I really found nobody in this episode likeable. Not even the police officers, really. I don't think they did a good enough job of, of, of giving you any identity. The police officers... I like Rhino. I, uh, no, <laughs> Rhino, come off of it. Is this Gladiators? The but, particular uh, scene that I hated, that made me kind of just grind my teeth, was the bloke standing on the side of the road, doing his talking head, and a driver drives by, and he just decides... To just follow him and, sh- and shout and swear and wave his, wave his hand. And then when he comes back, the camera goes, he was riding down this road in... Well, I can't do a Welsh accent, obviously. No, that's no, not yeah, a Welsh accent, accent at all. He was driving down here 60 miles an hour yesterday. Yeah. It just made me think, this is not a slice of any kind of life that I can I, identify with I think, or want to identify yeah. with. Can I just counter-argue that? I think this might be a regional thing. You living in London, I think you're not exposed to these sort of small... Ta- well, you no, are I'm to an extent, but I, 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 know the, I know these towns where there's nothing for young people to do. There's nothing... Somewhere where everyone knows each other, there's nothing for young people to do. And that's why they turned to this life of crime. Because I, I got that... I, I know what you mean, that scene. But I, I saw it differently. I saw it as, you know, he is loudmouth. He is a bit like this. But he is doing it for the right reason. He doesn't want kids to be run over. And I, and I, th- I, I feel that this might be like a regional divide. I think Maybe. I, I, I know people. I know areas like this. I know people like this. I come across people like this. And I think you don't. I don't live in an affluent part of London. I live in Cambridge. No. You know, I know. No, I know. I've been, I, I know. I've been to your area of London. You, you, you came here. Uh, I, yeah. I think the other thing that put me off was the subtitles. I understand why they did it. Yeah. 
But I, I agree think, here. I, I do think it made it more difficult to. Find. I tell you, no, no. What I didn't like was the fact that they were intermittent. Some You'd some bits were subtitled and yeah, yeah. Some bits that. were subtitled and some bits weren't, and it just like oh, you've taken the subtitles away now. I don't understand now because you were subtitling before, so we're reading it now. I have to listen to it. What's going on? No, yeah. I agree with and, you and, there. And I would say that they chose the wrong moments to subtitle. Sometimes, sometimes it needed it. Yes. And I'm sitting there, yeah. going, and that made it harder. I but thought you'd I, struggle actually. I did think of you I, then. I didn't. I didn't enjoy this. So. Uh, clearly. Thank you, Luke. No. Not being here. Yeah, but I, yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, I think it is. A, I think it is a regional thing. I would be interested to see what Luke thought of this is because he lived for something I made him watch a while ago or something. Do you think? Yeah, probably a Queen of the South. Yeah. 